day we were looking at a washing machine that would not agitate. It would fill and then just stop. And that is a common problem with these particular machines with this style timer. Now I've made another video on this style timer before, uh, taking it apart and uh, reconditioning it, reconditioning it. And what typically will happen is points will burn inside here and cause it to not agitate after it fills up. So that's a common problem with these particular uh, timers. Now I've rebuilt a few of these and I've had fairly good luck with these. If you want, I can rebuild your timer for $39 plus postage if you want to send it to me. Or you can find them on eBay for probably about 50 to 100 bucks. And so, yeah, that was the problem. And the way I test this, basically I have a separate test so I don't have to fill it all the way up with water. I have a separate test tube that I hook directly on here so that I can test to see if it's going to agitate without filling it all the way up with water. And on this particular one, I have to bypass the lid switch to do this so I can look at it. And if you get a hum and you don't, uh, you don't get an agitation, you want to check out your capacitor. Now be very careful because these wires on these capacitors can come, they can get corroded and be loose. And so don't mess around with it too much. But if you do get a hum, you might want to check this out. I just simply pushed the wires back in a little bit and it worked. It didn't seem to be a problem. But I have seen these capacitors give a similar symptom. So, here's your disclaimer. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help, you can contact me at Z underscore F-I-X-I-T-M-A-N at Yahoo.com. Z Fixitman at Yahoo.com. And I give phone advice for a donation. So if you want to give me a call, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time, 9 to 8 p.m.